This is TOS TV Headline News. The Lagos state government has shut down public schools around the Ujodu Bega area of Lagos until January 2022, following a fatal accident which killed several students on Tuesday. Some policemen from different formations and commands across the country have raised alarm over the non-payment of their November salaries. Malawi's former Prime Minister Joseph Mwanamweka and former central bank head Dalitsu Kambambe have been arrested on charges of abuse of office and fraudulent accounting. Seven UN peacekeepers have been killed in an explosion in Mali. The peacekeepers had been traveling in a logistics convoy in central Mali when it was targeted by an improvised explosive device. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has left the battlefront and returned to his usual work at Addis Ababa after completing the first phase of the conflict. Nigeria's House of Representatives have urged a federal government to deploy special forces in the Nigeria Police Force as well as the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Navy on a rescue mission to free the kidnapped victims in Lagos and other parts of the country. Pfizer and BioNTech have said a booster jab of their coronavirus vaccine promises to be an effective defense against the new Omicron variant. Three doses provide a similar level of antibodies against Omicron to two doses against other variants. India's Chief of Defense Staff General Bipin Rawat has been killed in a helicopter crash in the southern state of Tamil Nadu alongside his wife and 11 others. And that's TOS Headline News. For more, follow the details currently displayed on your screen.